Hello guys, welcome back to Let Code. So after two years, I have updated the LaTeX path, the Chrome extension tool. So let's see what's new in this. Nothing much, but it's very useful now. Okay. So if you go to this let code dot in and if you go to this product and if you click on this chrome icon that will redirect you to the chrome store so we have a version called uh, 2.0.0 and you can just simply click on this add to chrome and click on this add extension so once you are done please restart your browser or use a new tab to uh, use the extension okay and you can use the same in brave browser as well so just copy the uh, link go to your brave browser and paste the link and here you will see the option like add to brave so click on this and that's it it will work for sure so again it's going to add you have to restart or use a new tab to check this so i'm going to navigate to our litco dot in and if i go to the workspace and input so here we can see the very static page let's go right click and click on this inspect so it will be here somewhere like if you click on this double arrow it will be somewhere here from there i just drag and drop it to this one okay so it will be like my first option okay so first thing we know that if you mouse over on this like as you do the regular inspect element same thing here as well so once you select it it will give us this beautiful ui no advertisement no complicated things just a simple ui so first one is id we know that even it's selenium tractor playwright cypress whatever it is if id of course the id has the uh, max preference so i'll just leave it like unique id you can just click to copy the value so if i open my notepad i can see that it is done okay so if you're not happy with the unique id you can go with the class based text path again just click to copy and you'll get that and then like we have like placeholder we have text based following x path so this is like your access x path so consider that none of the attributes are and the attribute values are not good in this then if there is a label probably we have to take the label so this is going to be like my parent and this input is going to be my child right so here you can see like we got the same so label text equal to enter your full name then followed by the following input okay so it's suppose following following input i mean following sibling preceding and preceding sibling also it supports okay and if you want to get based on the parent so so here you can see the parent is basically like um, control so from there we can get this input as well okay and if you're not happy with the x path if you want the css of course it will give you so here you can see the numbers as well like the number of x path available for this particular text box is five and css is four okay so in css also you can select we have the unique the placeholder class and the closest id okay so xpath and css you can say like maybe you can compare this with other tool as well so as of now like xpath and css we are able to get nine locators for one text box okay now if you're not happy with both the xpath and the css you want to do something like from root of your uh, section or container you can do that with the help of access xpath okay so for example if i'm in xpath section and i don't like this so what i wanted to uh, like i want to take this text okay so from this header i want to locate this text box so it's very simple just right click on that you select like select parent then go to the child element click on select child so it's a dynamic first time it will be parent and second time it will be child so as soon as you click on that you can see like from xpath xpath will become zero css will become zero and it will move to the access tab now okay so this is a new update and here also we have the same click to copy so once there is a xpath you can just 
click and you can use in your favorite editor okay so that's it very simple and it will show you only if the xpath is, is correct if it's wrong it will tell you like this is not matching for example this is my parent so i can go with the unique tag name which is like h1 or else i can select like class based xpath so now my parent will be like h1 contains class and some class name with the following id id value and i'm not interested on the tag name or the class then i can go with the text base which is like h1 text equal to input okay then slash following and here i have this one okay even you can go with the parent in this case i will go with the text which makes sense to me and here right hand side the child element also i can customize so it can be either unique id or maybe the placeholder maybe the class based or maybe the text based one okay so we have variety of options you can just play with this whatever you feel it is good for your application probably you can take it i'm not going to judge like which one is going to be best for you in access i will probably give you all the best options available now based on your application you should do the customization that's it okay and finally we have the search so most of you ask about the search one okay so for example let's say that we are going to uh, select any of this let's say this is going to be my insight where we have something like p class equal to card header title right so i can copy and here i can write the xpath for now it supports only the xpath maybe in future i can bring the css as well okay so double slash p and i can say like dot equals the text uh sorry it's not text it's a class so here i can say like at the rate class equal to some value and i have two options one is the find and clear so if i click on this find it will tell us like one x path that means like this x path basically is one unique kits and also here we have this highlight so you can see a green color dash box around the element okay so if this correct if you got like one xpath font you can just copy and you can use in your code editor okay let's see for the negatives let's say that i'm going to give something like title one and if i click on this find now you'll see something like zero that means wrong xpath okay and previously we got the highlight right so if i go and find this again you can see like we got this highlight so if you want to clear the highlight you can click on this clear which will clear your ui unless like other xpath extension where the highlight is still there for some reason we have an option to clear so if it's done you can probably clear it up okay and we have another option another feature as well so so far we have discussed what is xpath what is css how to use the access in detail and of course the search and of course yeah you can like double slash input so that means like what are the input tags we have it's going to find right so if i click on this find you can see like it says six xpath found and if you go to the ui you can see like all the green boxes like it will give you all the matching elements highlight okay so this might be really helpful uh yeah okay let me do the clear it will clear all the highlights as well okay and then we have the snippet okay so if i go to the xpath uh, let's say that we want to okay we are inspecting this insight so this is what this is basically an p tag so what are the options we can do maybe we can do like get text or get attribute that is what we mostly do right so if you go to the snippet we have like two options one is get text okay get attribute is not applicable here probably we can do the click action or we can retrieve the text right so here if i click i uh, say like click and here you can select we got the selenium snippet the driver dot find element by dot class name so i know that this is my unique class name so i can use like by dot class name and then i'm also doing the click action so it will give us the click okay and if it's like text based xpath so if i go and click you can see like by dot xpath followed by the xpath and dot the click option okay similarly if you want to go with the get text so here also you can see like it will give you the proper snippet okay so initially the snippet was there but the problem is like once you select this one it will just copy and it will uh, this portion this toaster will disappear 
but now it will be always there until you select some another thing for example if you go and select this input that will get disappeared again you can like here you can select this is my input tag right input text area text box so here i can select i am getting the two options one is send case which is very appropriate one and also another one is get attribute so if you click on get send case you can see we are getting the snippet and similarly we are getting the get attribute okay and if you are not using the selenium you want something else you can go to the setting and here we have options like selenium python selenium c sharp protector and this custom framework i'll make a dedicated video on this custom framework and how we can use it to write the page object model maybe in the next video okay and python snippets selenium python snippets are little outdated i guess i have to update that probably i will do that in a week and also the playwright snippet suggestion is going to come okay so that's it for the version 2.0.0 update uh, and of course a lot of xpath syntaxes are enhanced it will give you more correct now the css is also a bit enhanced and of course the access plays a major role in this version so i have uh, done most of the things here and the search is also new in this version okay so that's it for this version um i mean that's it for this video so we have let xpath for chrome as well as brave browser uh, the code base is ready for microsoft edge but i have to update in the store i will do that maybe in upcoming weeks weeks okay so that's it from my side thanks for watching if you have any suggestions or feedback please do let me know in the comment and at least try once instead of saying it's a bad bad product just give it a try once it might not work in your application or it might work in your application so yeah and of course you know it is say uh, open source so nothing is hidden if you go to my repository if you go to this let x path if you go to the master branch so there are a couple of branches are there yt dash tutorial is basically the tutorial we have created in our uh youtube channel how to create a xpath extension those codes are here and the master has all the latest so here you can see like i released three days ago it took little time to update in the chrome store but yeah we got the approval and do not worry about any privacy in privacy concern or phishing something like that it is approved by the chrome store that means of course you are good to go and there are no advertisement or something in the chrome extension it's just a simple extension with simple ui nothing much okay so that's it for my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Tada, bye bye take care